All right, so what is going on, guys? Happy Thursday. I don't even know what day it is anymore right now, but today, fairly simple job that I'm doing. So basically, what we're working on is working on the exhaust for the bike, and we do need to replace these donut gasket things. Um, when I installed the exhaust on this bike, I put a new exhaust on there. As you can see, it's the Vance and Hines Twin Slash Staggered right there right don't mind the truck noise and basically what I did is I just did a muffler swap so I took the I took the existing exhaust off which is the factory one and that one is you know all chrome very very nice but I wanted loud because motorcycle especially if it's a v-twin chop 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 I want that exhaust noise that I, I don't know if you say it like that but you know I hope you guys can see me, I'm not too sure. But basically what I have to do right now is just remove the bolts, which are not many. And I do have my basic tool set over here. Got a little um, ratchet over there. It's an 8 mil hex. So I got one down there, as you can see. One, two. And I have this. I think this is like uh, this one that holds the back onto the body, the frame, whatever. It's like a 12. Then I have just... Uh, 10 mil bolts, one, two, three, and four. I think down there I'll just get like a, down there I'll probably just get like a six point or something. Uh, like a 10 mil wrench to pull it off. So let's get going here. Got to get a little. Is that a ten? No, that's not a ten. That's like a. Tw so the main reason why I got to do it this way is because, like I said, I sheared these off, thinking that I could cut the bolts or something and remove this, but it didn't happen. Probably, but I'm gonna have to do is just remove this whole bracket. It's just three bolts. I'm pretty sure there was like. 13s that I was supposed to put there, but I just reused the Allen keys, the Allen bolts. The gasket's in there. I didn't even touch, so I'm gonna have to like stab them out of there with a the flat. got the whole Vance and Hines twin slash staggered header and exhaust like those things taken off the bike and as you can see bike's got no oh man the gasket looks like poopy but yeah we're gonna continue here and we're gonna slap in these zebra zebra triple three fifty fours I need to swap out these gaskets and as you can see Alright, so we're gonna try to take these old ones out. Oh yeah. Not good. Ooh, look at this one. Pop right out. So I'm just assuming that, uh... The reason why the exhaust was like... So the reason why the exhaust was like that is because... Because, because... Because I didn't use new gas exposure. Oh, so, it. Oh, so what just happened is sort of a good thing. The uh, the brackets of the nuts on the back of this thing just sort of broke on their own, which is okay because they were broke anyways from the jump, and uh, it's pretty much what I have to work with. Which means I can actually now take these to the shop and find out what nuts would fit in there. You know? That bolt, see what size that is and bring it to the shop with me. And I'll get some new hardware action. Alright, what's going on guys? So here we are. It's a new day in the JDM Cherry Blossom Garden. But anyways, it's bolts coming in over there. And everything is good in the hood. I got everything ready to go. 
all my tools and stuff and the pipes and stuff i got the pop smoke over there more importantly i need to set this up because it's starting to rain already starting to rain already Alright folks, so there you have it, reporting to you live from the JDM Cherry Blossom Garden. We finished putting the exhaust back on the bike, and as you can see, it's getting wet. Oh yeah, the exhaust is back on, shields are back on, I put new hardware back here. Now you can tell, you can say what you want, but I put lock watchers in there, only to create a little bit of a gap, because these bolts are a little bit longer, compared to the factory ones from Vance and Hines. So we did that, and now we're just going to do a little sound test and see how she sounds, so let's do it. Uh, excuse me. So it should sound a little different, because basically what was going on is before uh, today, uh, I've been running this bike for I guess 11,000 miles, or well, about 11,000 miles now, with loose header bolts, and I was just too lazy to really inspect it and everybody's been telling me oh your bike's popping and yada 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 and three two one As you can see, these were really tiny. They were just like that about uh, two weeks ago. They were really, really tiny bulbs, just like these here, real small. But now they're like fully blooming like that. See, real pretty. And as you can see, the sun is starting to come out just a little bit over there. So what we're about to do is we're gonna take this on a little test run. Uh, we're just gonna go down the block, up the block, and back.
So it looks like, oh, I'm freaking soaked. So it looks like the sun is out, it's still sort of raining, and uh, the bike feels better. Like, I, I would have to say, uh, when you roll on the power, it doesn't really feel like, uh, and the motor is warm, by the way. Like, it doesn't feel like they're surging, where it's just sort of like flat and then it jumps. It just sort of feels like, like the power is now linear. So the power is linear, like the way it was supposed to be. And from what I heard, I'm pretty deaf already. Uh, it doesn't sound like there was a lot of like, uh, like backfiring uh, on the bike. Uh, probably like yelling into the camera, but whatever. And everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy because just went up the block and stuff with no gear. But you know, that's how it goes. You gotta ride sometimes. And, uh, up the whole neighborhood but that's okay what motorcycle is partially about and my camera's getting soaked right now I hope it doesn't ruin